Welcome back, guys. This is the latest update of our 41-way ceramic coatings longevity test. As you've heard me talk about in updates past for this particular test, I regret using a silver hood because it is hard to get things to show up on camera. So I have played with the tint and the saturation in post for you to see things a little bit better, but sometimes it can do weird things like wait, make my pressure washer stream look like a flamethrower. You can see that compared to some of the black hoods, this hood doesn't quite get as hot either. So the others in the updates, 160, 170 degrees Fahrenheit. This is 142. So we're gonna go ahead and foam this hood down using Chemical Guys Honeydew Snow Foam. Rinse it, foam it again, wash it, and then of course rinse everything off to inspect the hydrophobic properties before we dry everything off. So if you've got a minute, hit the like button, subscribe if you haven't already, and of course let me know in the comments if you've used any of these products before or if you're rooting for any. And as always, if there is any product that you wanna see tested in the future, let me know in the comments as well. But please do check out my master spreadsheet in the video description to make sure I haven't already tested it before asking because I do get a lot of that as well. So we'll jump right into it. You can see my flamethrower pressure washer. First up, C-Quartz Finest Reserve, C-Quartz Professional. As has been my experience, C-Quartz Professional seems to be a little bit more hydrophobic than C-Quartz Finest Reserve. Dallas Paint Correction T3 Pro and T99H. Both of those seem to be doing quite well as well. Apex Metal Oxide Coating, starting to show a little wear. Nano Skin Ultra T1 and T3 Pro. Both of those, they're not quite failed, but they are very, very close. You can see it's sticking pretty well. NGNT Pro 1K, sort of in the same boat. 1K plus doing much better. Avalon King, it is getting pretty close. It's it's doing okay. Nano Age Nano Bond 9H doing good. Warregion 10H Ceramic also just a little bit less than Nano Bond but still pretty good. Drive Auto Nano 9H looking good. Meguiar's Hybrid Paint Coating, I believe it's rated for a year. Beyond a year, it's still looking good. Underdog the Sauce Pro. Looks like it's got a little wear on it, not quite as hydrophobic as it once was. Glossit 10H, sort of in that same boat. Glossit 5H, also kind of about like that. NGNT Pro 2K and 3K, both of those are very hydrophobic. G-Technic Ultra, got some wear on it, but still looking all right. IGL Premier, looking a little worse for wear there. Probably we're, we'll call that weak. Come on, focus camera. And Owner's Pride. That's one of those that's it's really close to calling failed, and I think we're probably just going to call it failed. you got to call it sometime. Lone Star Ceramic, we're also going to call that one failed this month. IGL EZ Graphene, rated for a year, and it is just barely hanging in there. Chemical Guys Carbon Force, doing okay. And Ammo Reflex Pro. I believe we are finally gonna call that one failed. So three new failures this month. What do you think? There's a couple of others that are pretty close to. You gotta get to a point where you're gonna just call them. So there you go guys, there's your update. One year, one month. Let me know in the comments if there's anything you're rooting for or if you've used any of these, your experiences. Thanks for watching, we'll see you soon. Please tell me that I can't, that I won't, that I fail, that I'll never make it out, yeah. Please tell me all the bad, never good, fill my head full of every single doubt, yeah. Please say any negative thoughts, I pop off when I hear people say I cannot. I get off to the thought of proving everyone wrong, I won't stop to the top, so you better back off, I get lost. I'ma stay loud, stay proud, never running out, never heading south. I'll be spreading out, call it word of mouth, can't put it down, I'll be getting loud.